All right, we just finished learning what display block and display inline are. Just so you know, it takes time to really master these concepts. We're just trying to give you a basic understanding. There's so much more than meets the eye with one line of code. But for now, it's really good for you to understand that a block level element takes up all the space and then an inline element takes up as much space as the content and then those box model rules that we talked about. So how do we center things? Now, remember our web page looks like this. So we want to center everything, including the card and the content. So let's talk about how we could do that with the inline elements first. So the inline elements would be the text and the anchor tags. Also, the content inside of the H1 is going to be something that we can center. And that's an interesting concept. So I want to talk about that. But first, let's go look at um, our H1, actually. So jump with me and let's just type some code really quick. Text dash align. This is a new property that we're going to be putting in. And the value that we can type in is center. Watch what happens. It aligns the content of the block level element. So in this case, the block level element is still taking up that space. That's why we have those borders in for us to visualize it still. But you can note that like, if we look at our page over here, everything centered, our name centered, our content centered, these icons are centered, the image is centered. So we could do this a couple ways. And that's the interesting thing and the hard thing about CSS is you can do the right thing five different ways. So let me show you one of the many ways to do this. We could go through each element and do this. P tag, text align center. Okay, we got that. Uh, image, text align center. Let's see if that jumps. Oh, we could check that out in a second and see what's going on there. Our A tag, text align center. Okay, <clears throat> so let me hit save and refresh and see if there's any kind of issues. All right, so notice that we're getting some kind of funkiness with our text align center. It's not working the way that we maybe thought it would work. And that's because it's trying to text align center based on a parent child relationship. So that means that it's trying to center content or issues inside of here, but it's, it's like, well, this is already centered inside of my block content. So technically it is centered if you think about it, but it's not centered in the element that's containing it. Now, remember links was containing our a tag, right? So if we go to links and do text align center, let's see what happens. Aha. Now it's aligning the content in the center. So these kinds of things can be very confusing. So oftentimes you're going to want to try to use the cascade, remember cascading style sheets in CSS, to utilize as much style as we can. So watch this. Instead of doing text align center on every single element, we practice a coding concept called don't repeat yourself or dry. And oftentimes trying to write dry code can help us eliminate, in this case, five lines of code that were unnecessary. Watch what happens if I go to the card. Now remember, card is everything. It's this big white card. So if I come in here and say text line center, watch what happens to all of its children elements. They all center. That is so cool. So again, you could have gone through and text align centered everything on inline elements or content, but because we went to the parent level element, we're good to go. Now, what if we wanted to get this white card centered, just like over here? We want this card centered. This is this is not centered right now. Can we just go up to the main, which is containing card, and say text line center? No, it doesn't work. So now we're dealing with block level elements. Remember block level elements, that's why we have this border on here still, are taking up the full page or as much as we tell them to. So in this case, width 400 is our limit. So what we can do with block level elements is introduce margin in a way that we haven't talked about. So if I go down to the card, you can see I have 32 pixels. Now, if you remember the shorthand for margin is 30, in this case 32 is saying, 32, 32, 32, and 32. The interesting thing is this is only going out 32, but you can see there's more white space that could be used. Well, guess what? Inside of margin, there's another value that can automatically find out how much space is between here and adjust. That's right, it's called margin auto. 
So I can actually add an extra line of code down here and say margin auto, and let's see what happens. Boom. So check this out. It still maintains the 32 pixels if we want it, but it gives us margin auto and centers it in the middle of the page and automatically adjusts the margin so that it smoothly adjusts based on the user's input. So with block level elements, we can use margin auto to horizontally center things. Now, of course, when I'm talking about horizontal centering, I'm talking about this axis. Now, what if we wanted to center this in the middle of the page like we're doing over here? Well, this is where it gets really tricky in CSS um, before we've had access to the beautiful thing called Flexbox. So Flexbox is the next layout property that we're gonna be talking about. And it actually uses the display property, but it's actually not simple to get this thing centered. For example, if we tried to use just the box model, let's just say we tried to use margin top and bottom, for example. What if we said like 332 pixels? And I hit save and I refreshed. <clears throat> you can see this thing is not responding the way we want it to. It's not, it's not understanding what we're trying to do because we said margin over here. Okay, so what if we said margin and we said margin top. And we said 332 pixels, so we don't have the auto getting in our way. Well, that's not really centered though, because it's just 332 pixels from the top. And you could say, well, what if we just eyeball it? Okay, let's try to eyeball it. Let's just say 300 or 250. You can see we're just playing a game that's not gonna work because as soon as we get on a phone or a different device, this is gonna mess up. And also notice the blue background's not going full screen. So there's some issues here. We're gonna be using some new layout properties, specifically a property, um, a, a value I should say of, of display property called flex. So we're gonna be talking about that in our next module so we can learn how to vertically center as much as we've been horizontally centering and find an even better way to do this than margin auto. So stay tuned next video.